Well, as a part of campaign trail at Sarvajanagra, I am reached. I have reached at uh, HBR layout, and I am joined by senior politician K J George to speak more about campaign trail and the pulse of voters here at Sarvajanagar. I am grateful to my voters and for my party. Since 2008, party had given me tickets. Three times I won from this constituency with a big majority with the people's support. And this is the constituency in the name of Sarvatna, the only constituency in the entire Karnataka. But unfortunately, we got a great name. Great, that is. But the problem with there is no infrastructure in this council. There are no councils. There was no college, no high school, no pedigree, no hospital, nothing was. There. And only a small portion of the land is planned developed. All other places are completely. This is revenue levels. You know, basic communities was not there. There was no cavity water, no sewage, no even the once in a month, because this all belongs to, most of the places belong to CMC area, city municipal. This is the problem which I have faced. Today, after these 15 years, we with all our people and the locals also, we could able to provide basic amenities. But still there is a lot of problem. I think that also we are going to, after this election, I can give you a booklet which I have prepared. You can go through the records. Because if I started speaking about the development, it will take a lot of time. So I think that it will be minimum I need about five, six hours. If you are willing to give it that much time, I can speak. Or else you go through the, the booklet. The what thing. are the key, key things that like thing that key things that you have got? You see all the government schools in my constituency, all twenty-eight government schools modernized and made us smart classrooms. We started from our trust, survey tunnel as caring. Then we started dialysis units, outpatient the other thing, you will tie up with the Baptist hospital and also laboratory is there and all. And we started skill training. The two skill training in my constituency from our trust itself. Of course, from government side, we have done a lot of this, especially we have given a lot of importance to the drinking water. You can see, first there's much better the, the tank was the old, oldest tank, it was competing with renovation. Then, from GKBK, we got direct line to the tin tank, also from Udi. Direct line we are connected, now the water is coming directly. And also from HBR. Which you are, we are standing here. This is a park we have created. This is a 40 acres of park. Sidra Manji was the chief minister. He announced 5 crores of rupees for this park. And we developed this park. Next to this park, there is a ground level reservoir we are constructed. We are released when I was Bangalore Development Minister. We have released the land from BDA. And also super specialty hospitals. 80% is completed. It's coming up there. There's also one Urdu school, which was constructed mainly from our company CSR fund. That also we made it as a smart classroom. Sir. Now, the main achievement I got from the constituency is the metro. So now, Bangalore Development Minister, this line has uh, dissipated. This MG road to Nagawar line. And we thought making the uh, airport line also. Of course, that time it was through Egede Nagar. Later on, just I change it to Hebal and it is going to. That's what is the thing. Likewise, roads, sewage, uh, uh, this is sewage pipes, all parks, grounds, everything has developed in our consciousness. And also, we are planning to develop the tank in the Kachragan League tank. Already, the fence, uh, the various fence, the encroachment was there. To prevent that thing, it's already fancy started and we will start and we will make a Paka stadium also. And 
you wanted to go for a international swimming pool these are all the future plans i think that uh, uh, you see enur bande also we wanted to create a playground as the park that's right the land is kept see we all got lot of respect for hanuman hanuman temples are there in our country See, nobody will compare Bajrangdal people with uh, God. Anuman. Anuman is something is everybody is. Even though I am a Christian, I got lot of respect. I'll go to the, I'll go to the, the temple, the thing. But what I want to ask, what we told in the manifesto, nobody is reading manifesto properly. I think we told in the manifesto, if anybody is going unconstitutional or other thing, then only we will take action if they are starting trouble. Why Majanagadal? What they have done in Mangalore? Everybody has seen. They are take. They are becoming a moral police. They they are taking law into their hands, and they are going to the the singers bar, and they are chasing the small the you know girls and all the things. This is what they are doing. Can we compare the uh, the thing uh, Anjana or uh, the thing with the Majanagadal? I think it, it is not uh, nowhere. I think BJP cannot climb. I won't ask them one question. Rama Sena is also Rama Sena, is it? Then why Goa? It has been banned. That means the, you are banning uh, Rama only. Rama Sena is ban banning anything to do with Rama. But generally, if they go for an uh, anti-constitutional thing, or if they do something, then we said, like we'll take. We will give an example. But generally, or PFI. If they go anti-constitutional, we'll take, we'll ban them. So not only any organization, if yes, any organization, if they go unconstitutional way, then we have to take action. It is the constitution says. Okay. I want to. I got lot of respect for Prime Minister Modi because he's a Prime Minister. He's not the Prime Minister for BJP. He is the prime minister for the entire country. For me, he is the prime minister. But I expect him. When you are a prime minister, what is your contribution for Karnataka or Bangalore? I can tell you what Manmohan Singh Ji has done. Naram, how much money he had given for infrastructure. Now Swachh Bharat, as you are giving, says how much money they spent here. See today, the garbage issue is the biggest problem. You you know that Mandur was happened at all. We should go for waste to energy plan. We, the thousands of crores are lying with the central government. Why they are not releasing that funds? If that is not going to do, and about smart city, I want to ask this: We are taking full credit smart city. See, smart city earlier BJP government planned, but they didn't uh, get the approval from the central government. When I was the minister with many NGOs, they supported us also. Sidramai ji also supported. We went to Sidramai ji and asked for uh, now this uh, Chief Minister's Nagarotana fund. I started with the Sidramai ji. We had given seven thousand two hundred crores. With that money only, we have with the smart city. The central government only give hundred crores per year. Five years. You think that five hundred crores you can make a smart city? You cannot make one ward smart. But we. Come put money from the other sources, like our government sources or the BBMP sources. Then we are planned. Now that is what implemented. After implementation, the central bank rule will proper. We get all facelift and all the thing. It's a, it is a bank rule. It's a pride not only for Karnataka. It's the pride of India and internationally. It's known. That's what we thought. Irrespective of any politics, we never did. So his campaign will not impact in any way. He was last time also. He was here, 2018 election. What happened? We won 15 seats. BJP only got 11 seats. That's the thing. His his campaign will be impact if he comes with a proposal. If you already done, I have done these things to Bangalore city, and I am going to do this thing. And Bangaloreans are very uh, clever people. They know what they are done, what they are going to do. Only. Announcement is not enough. For example, the suburban train. How many times they told? 
we are given from the state government 300 crores but they are not given how much money they are given where the small the thing suburban train will take time but you are already announced how many times five times the cabinet decision they announced they are given a big publicity and the budget they put 1 crore rupees 17000 crores of project you are putting 1 crore and you are taking publicity now afterwards today you are talking about it where the suburban has come the anything what they inaugurated these days is all started by the congress government and i can tell you one thing today the bangalore city person what was in 2013 after 2008 to 13 bjp rule what happened how the all the property they purchased we released the, the, those properties we are improved the father uh, thing now again same stage is going to happen if these people are going to continue even also they are damaged and today the people are what is the answer for the price rise today the petrol price diesel price has gone up any answer for prime minister modi today the unemployment is going up any answer he is giving any assurance is giving he is only talking about congress party we are in opposition we are not uh, the thing. you are in ruling party you got a mandate from the people i request the prime minister whenever you come when we are in difficulty you never visited us the flood time you never visited us you are drought time you never visited us the cholera the, the covid time you are not visited us you are not uh, the, the given our people have suffered in covid also what you have done now you are coming for the votes every time any state elections you are there today our home minister is sitting in bangalore i think that manipur is burning any home minister can sit in bangalore and do some electionary even the thing this is what i want to ask you are the home minister not for karnataka you are the home minister for karnataka that's one chief minister is the ministers are there let them look after you come we have no problem but don't stay here and think of your visit you have to can manage no karnataka people they are capable of managing i think that the people like yadi shetty he is a committed bjp person he told one thing what happened the ideology of bjp your ideology is you are taking mls from other side congress side and all giving them the ministerial post spending money for their by election is this the ideology how many people i am from grassroot level congress worker I have faced the Jan Sangha, but I got a lot of respect for Jan Sangha those days. They are all committed people. Whatever their ideology they are coming, what is your ideology? What is the ideology? The so power is the important thing, and the people knows they about this 40 percent. We are not talking about 40 percent. This is a contract association. One of your own leader, uh, leader, who was a contractor, contractor Santos. He went to Delhi. He tried to meet the prime minister. He wrote to the prime minister. He had addressed a press conference in Delhi. accusing isharappa for his stuff his bill has not paid and he came back to bangalore he addressed uh, uh, a press conference accusing uh, isharappa now what you are thinking only conducting one police inquiry and putting a b uh, the thing uh, uh, the thing b report is it over the family is uh, uh, the thing they are already went to the court i don't want to comment about the court but i will tell you one thing there should be a principle you should you should have some commitment you should have got your own ideology at the program so this is what you have to do i have no see three times my people voters are voted me back i have, now i'm requesting the voters of uh, sarvekta nagara i want to ask them please vote for her. i'm folded hands i'm asking that is left to them to vote on 10th and 13th i know the result but i am confident myself all the sarvaknagara voters will help us help my party help my party. that's what i want well that was a minister ex minister k j george expressing confident that he will come back with thumping majority he also touched upon many other details about bjp's alleged failure in handling corruption and other details in bangalore yakub for new india express